Mobile phone companies say they offer home internet. But if their internet comes from a cell phone network, you should know. It's just phone internet, not home internet. Keep your home up to speed with Cox. Cox internet is faster and has more reliable download speeds than 5G home internet. Cox is the real home internet you're looking for. Based on Cox analysis of Ookla speed test intelligence data, Q3 2022 and Cox serviceable areas, visit cox.com slash internet for details. Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me, guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Good morning, everybody. How's everyone's morning doing? Good? Well, that's good. And if it's not going good, I'm sorry. It'll get better. It's just those dark days. Those those dark days that sometimes just teaches you stuff for you to learn to get out. But, as usual, just take a sip of our coffee. That's that good shit. I don't remember if I said it in the last episode, but I got a new creamer instead of hazelnut and French vanilla. Uh, it's called uh, Italian cream, I think. Tastes like whipped cream. It's actually really good. Like, really good. Oh, and just a quick reminder. Uh, every Thursdays, I do put up call segments at the end of every episode. Well, every Thursday episode. So, once you guys hear me talk and not shut the fuck up. Excuse me. Got the hiccups. Uh, you'll be hearing some call segments. Uh, last time I did two. Uh, this time, I think I have three. I would do two, but i um, going to do the third one just for the fucks of it. And so, yeah, from 10 to 12, you know, this type of stuff is uh, open for the call segments. If you want to either just shout out someone, if you want to um, say hello, talk for a little bit, all up to you on that. You know, again, um from like 10 to 12 well maybe i might actually just do it from 10 to 11 um just or maybe even 11 to 12 maybe a little bit later just so you know people can still be sleeping or whatnot um and reminder central time not mountain time so for my mountain time listeners uh, if I did it from 10 to 11, that's 9 or 10 back home. And if I did it from 11 to 12, that's 10 or 11 back home. So just a little quick reminder, just from a Mountain Time listeners. Um, but yeah, let's get on with the show. And honestly, I don't know if there's really much to talk about. Um, I mean, the weather, again, like I said, starting to get colder and whatnot. And... I don't know if it is my body. I don't know if it's wanting to reject the fact that I'm eating turkey or maybe I'm not eating the cooking the turkey well enough, but I know damn well I am. Um, but again, I've been having a lot of diarrhea problems. I know you guys probably don't want to hear that, but hey, I've been having a lot of diarrhea problems. And I've because I decided to cook it um, and make it with... Uh, some ragu, like the, um, what's it called? Um, I think Alfredo sauce is what it's called. And with some meat, so, it, and some, I think, I think it's pronounced penne or pen, whatever the fuck it's called. And honestly, it's it's pretty good. Like, I made sure to season and salt the meat well. And the pasta, made sure to salt it good. And to me, it tastes good. But I don't know if it's that, that... My stomach does not like, and it's like, bro, what the fuck is this? I hope it is not that. <laughs> I hope it's not that. Um, so, 
I mean, for right now, I'm gonna still eat it <clears throat> because you know. Again, I hope it's not the turkey because you know I wanna. I wanna be. I won't say eating health. I mean, yes, obviously eating healthier. I'm not saying meat is bad. To meat isn't bad. Um, but with a turkey, with a ground turkey, I mean, what I can do is I can get the most lean one and not be so expensive. Because I wouldn't mind doing, uh, getting like the lean or very lean, um, um, uh, what do you call it? The, like the meat, uh, like the actual like beef, beef, ground, ground beef. But the problem with that is uh, with it being uh, either lean or extra lean how they call it it uh let's just say can get more expensive than what i want and like pretty expensive now i'm not talking about uh like a simple quick expensive like a like for a pound like it being maybe like four ish four ish five bucks no i'm talking about like six seven bucks and I'm like, I don't know if I want to be paying that much for lean to extra lean ground beef. So what I do is obviously get the turkey. And I forgot what the brand is called. Like I think it's like called Farmland or some, something Farmland maybe. And with that, with that ground turkey, um, the 93% lean, 7% fat, I believe that one's close to 5 bucks. And then you get a 90 a ninety ten, which I believe it's like four fifty, I think, and then you get an eighty five fifteen, and I believe that's like three something, close to four bucks, I think. And when you go to to a different brand, I must be a new brand um, because I've never seen that brand before. That one, I believe, was eighty five fifteen, eighty five percent fat. Uh, 85% lean, 15% fat. The there's 85% fat. That shit would that shit would be greasy as fuck. And that was I believe 230, 250. I'm for a pound I'm like, "Wow, I I'd rather do that than than spend even 450." I'm like, "I can get two for about the same price." So I said, "Fuck it. I'll get two of those." And again, I don't know if it's that if it's maybe could have been the brand or just ground turkey in general. But my stomach is not like I I think it's that. I I think that's why my stomach is not liking it because I did it and then I'm over here having all these um bowel problems. Which I've never really had before. And. And. This morning. Woke up. Had to go to the bathroom. Cut like my normal routine. Waking up to go to the bathroom. And just out of nowhere. I was like oh. No. Just did my normal poopies. And then. Not even 10 minutes later. I'm like oh. Like I felt the bubbling in my stomach. And I'm like oh No. This is not good. And it just kept bubbling to the point where... Excuse me. I'll drink some coffee. Could be also be that too, but... Kept bubbling where I'm like, yeah, no, I gotta go again. And yeah, it's... I have more bowel problems, so... it. I don't know. I don't know if it's the turkey. I don't know if maybe I'm just not cooking it all the way. Um... Or just a turkey in general. Like my body is could be just so used to ground beef that now I'm putting turkey in the mix. It's like, bro, the fuck is this? And so I hope, <laughs> I hope it's, it's that. I hope it goes away. Um, it maybe um, could be that drinking coffee and then having some ground turkey is also messing with it. So. I hope it just goes away because uh, fuck the, because you fuck those problems and like my mom she'd always tell me how uh, 
how blessed I am to be having the bowels that I do because um, she tells me how when she can't go to the bathroom because most of the time she's like constipated, so she can't go. But when I go that easily, um, she always prays me. She's like, you're lucky because when I, um, when I have to go do it, I, you know, I struggle and I'm like, well, you're lucky <laughs> because I see this as a blessing and as a curse, a blessing because like she said, you know, when you can't go and when you can, and then you can go probably feels amazing, like amazing. But when you can't, when you, you know, when obviously you can go, but then you go too well. So you do it, whatever, but then you start getting like diarrhea problems and that's where it just all hell breaks loose. Probably not what you wanted to hear, but I'm sorry. And also, um, huge shout out to my girlfriend. Um, she's going to start a little like cake business type of thing. It, right now, she's just going to be th- uh, doing uh, some Tres Leches cake. Um, just that. So for right now. Um, and it's abbreviated, it's TTLC, or Trends Tres Leches Cakes, and website's up, and she's gonna start, I made her some business cards, she's gonna, um, get those up and rolling, she has a Facebook page, I'll put the link down in the description, well, and actually in the link tree, I'll put it in the link tree, um, and then also I'm thinking of, um, getting merch for the podcast just kind of wear it you know maybe do some posters post it all around of the podcast and maybe just get some merch kind of just wear it hopefully i can show you guys um again that's not till i get my stuff upgraded and then you guys can fully see everything um and yeah, then I feel like that'll make the uh, podcast more engaging because people can see what's going on. People can see everything. And in turn, they're like, oh, hey, this looks like really good. And so, yeah, so I hope it goes like that. Um, yeah. Um, I What I want to do, because obviously... I'll have the podcast, the Broke Boy Podcast, and then once I start going into real estate and have my own uh, brokerage, obviously have someone maintain it. I just own it, but someone else maintain it um, called maybe like Broke Realty, and then obviously have my own, I have my own real estate portfolio and shit. Um, so what I want to do is have a core date, because what I want to do, it's like, um, like, me slash core date is like the main heads of the operation. And um, and then I have uh, the Broke Boy podcast under core date. And then um, once in the future have uh, Broke Realty in the up in the uh, in, in the company and obviously all the fun other stuff. And um, obviously, I have to register Core Day as an LLC. But when I was looking, of uh, maybe should I also register not only Core Day or um, not Core Day, but the podcast? Do I do just the podcast as an LLC, or do I do both Core Day and the podcast as an LLC? Because um, according to when I looked it up, it said it's smarter to have an LLC. Reason being. Uh, just in case if, you know, people want to be stealing your name and a bunch of other stuff. It, because it's already registered, no one else can take it. And so um, once it's uh, filed, it's registered, and everything's completed, if at any point um, someone wants to also have, like, bro, I might – I don't know if I should – I might just do, have Broke Boy Podcast as LLC um, because if someone do, does Broke Podcast. I mean, I don't know, but um, I'll just maybe I'll register uh, Broke Boy Podcast as the LLC and then um, 
the core date as the LLC because right there, core date can be core date slash me can be the main operation. Be good there and kind of just go from there. Start building assets, start spending the money wisely, and I just get my life back on track, man. Like, like I've been hard these past couple months. Just kind of get my life back on track, you know? And, of course, I see this one fucking lady that always walks her dog. Like, every morning. I feel like maybe three to four. No, I don't even know. Three to four times. I'm going to say three to four times a day. Minimum. And this is minimum. This isn't max. Minimum. Three to four times a day. I see her walking her dog. Different dogs, too. She has a different outfit. A different outfit every single time. That's all I see her do. I'm like, holy shit! Like, she needs to make that her full time job at that point. Because how many times does she have to walk her dog? I swear, I see her outside so much. Where I mean, obviously she she's old, so she's probably retired. And I mean, if let's say she never got married or did, and let's say her husband passed away, and her dogs are like. A way to keep her not being not lonely. So I guess I can see that. But and and the other thing is, I think she hates people. Like I I don't think she likes it when her dogs want to be near people because every time I'm near the dogs, she always pulls them away. I'm like, ma'am, the dog wants to say hi. Chillax, like you're choking the poor thing. Fucking relax, lady. But I don't want to judge. I don't want to be that person. So if that's how she is, that's how she wants to live her life. So be it. Not gonna judge. Not gonna do anything. But I mean, hey, what else can we do? But yeah, that's you know, shout out to my girlfriend. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be with her every step of the way, doing that uh, with the whole cake business. She doesn't have any cakes yet. Um, she doesn't have any orders yet. The website again is up. The page is up. So in theory, you can order. Um, we do pickup or delivery, and the delivery will be doing through the delivery apps, so like DoorDash and uh, uh, Uber Eats. Um, but uh, the photos right now, she doesn't have photos of the cake, and not until she makes them, then we'll take a photo, and so then you can actually see what it is. It's $3 per slice, or $30 for a full sheet cake, and and you can put, uh, for topping-wise, uh, we have the options, and if, let's say, you add in the comment, or contact and you want maybe a different topping we can also add options too we, we love adding different options for the customers because we want to make sure they get the toppings they want because you know have you ever been to a uh, i guess you can call them like a bakery or cake shop whatever and let's say they only have toppings that they have and that's it like online maybe let's say online like you can customize how you want or maybe they don't even let you put on toppings the only thing they let you put on is like the frosting or or like maybe designs or whatever but you can't but you can't really do any other toppings then you're like well what if this one cake that let's say i've had elsewhere or it was homemade and they made it with um i don't know they put like strawberries and pineapple slices on there and but you, know, you want that same cake and uh, let's say Walmart or whatever, they don't let you put any other toppings, just that. You'd be a little bit mad. You'd be like, what the hell? I wanted the cake like this. Like, I wanted the cake with these toppings, you goddamn piece of shit. So, yeah, so got the toppings and everything Not until we get maybe our first customer or I think she said once she cooks her first batch I guess you can call it then that's when we'll go on that's when we'll go on with the rest of the operation and then yeah I mean uh, then right there well, let's see how that goes um, again we are currently based in Lincoln 
So, unfortunately, anyone who's in over back home in the Panhandle, um, they can't order uh, because, you know, obviously it's a six-hour drive. It's non-stopping other than gas, so about six hours. Um, but people here in Lincoln, if, here you guys can order, pick up, get it delivered, whatever. And you know, to me, it's a pretty good deal. $3 for a slice. Um, cause you know, there's probably some other places that would probably charge you five bucks a slice. And so three bucks a slice, not bad. And so, yeah. and reason being on why she's doing that is because you know, she, she's gotten re- really great feedback, uh, from my family when she cooked the Thresh Leches cake. And so because of that, I told her, I'm like, Hey, you know. Because she wants to cook my grandma. I cannot cook. I guess bake my grandma or make my bad the cake. And but she wants to learn it from scratch. She doesn't want to look at uh, directions. She wants to know how to do everything so then she can go do it. And so I told her, I'm like, well, this is what you can do. Um, start a little cake business, like do it, sell it. And then obviously people can give you feedback Um Maybe I might also make other business cards where it'll say, you know, this business card um, to order. Or maybe in that same card, I can put, like, scan this QR code to order. If, let's say, you know, if you don't find the website and scan this QR code to review us on, like, Google or Yelp or some shit. And right there, she can get feedback. She can not only remember on how to do it, but maybe change some things up and maybe even make it even better maybe she adds something adds some little pizzazz and it's better than it was before but then with the feedback you can see people who like them and you can get recurring customers and maybe for a birthday party you know, get even more feedback and i told her and she said she was down with it so again i'm, I'm gonna be here for her every step of the way i'm super proud of her for doing it like with me with she's been here with me for the podcast and also for studying for the real estate, which I haven't done again. Which I don't know why I need to do. But she's been here with me. So, just as much as she's been here with me, I'm going to be here with her too. Um, other than that, I don't really know what else to say. Again, at the end of every Thursday episode, is going to be the call segments. So, hope everyone has a great and lovely day. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye for now. Hello? Cesar, it's me, Marco. Marco, that's a deer. That's a nice one. What's up? Not nothing much. Are you confused on why it said Google me in Boston, Massachusetts? Yes. <laughs> Don't worry. I've been trying to call my cousin Jackie, uh, Haley, just to get people on this call segment that I have with the podcast, um, just to oh. kind of get the word out. And then, obviously, if they want to listen to it, and then they then want to call in, you know, do it. But you know, gotten uh, rejected by both of them more than once, and. Because I know when I called, the the first person I called um, was my girlfriend's cousin. And she said that she didn't answer the first time because it says Google Meet in Boston, Massachusetts. I'm like, well, this is be fucking hard to get people to know that it's me if it's going to call as Google Meet in Boston, Massachusetts. Ooh. Yeah. But with this call segment, I just, you know, if you want to shout out anyone, you want to just... Say something for a couple minutes. Uh, go ahead and do that. I mean, kind of want to be adding that at oh. the end of the episodes, just so I mean, it makes it more engaging. Oh. And you know, again, if people say, "Oh, hey guys, you know, I wa- I was on a podcast," and it just gets the word out more too. So you know, I'm just kind of on my way home from a fire right now. <laughs> Another fire? Shit! I feel like yeah. it's never-ending fires at this point. Better than last year. What was worse last year? What the fuck? Yeah, 
know, last year was kind of shitty, but. Of course it'd be like that. Welcome to, oh, yeah. uh, you know, welcome to Nebraska. Well, you know, what else can we do? Well, you here? know, the, the, this one felt like Nebraska, honestly. Really? Uh, the, uh, yeah, it's a bunch of grassland. Of course. With some flaming cow turds. Oh, they should be fine. <laughs> but you want to shout out anyone? You want to say anything? Ah, oh, off the top of my head. I'm just ready to go home. Go to bed. There you go. Because I only have a little bit of people on my contacts, and I've already count, contacted uh, most because the others. Because I guess my uh, sister, she's on my um, old, old iPhone, and it still has my uh, my Apple ID on there. So whoever she adds, like on her phone or whatever, I get it too. So I get some weird ones like Blossom and Heart Heart. I'm like, who the hell are these people? And nice. obviously, it's just I mean, my sister's friends. So mine is hers. I mainly have already called most people. I've had to leave a voicemail for my cousin and Jack, and for my cousin and um, and Haley. To just tell them, hey, you know, this is me. I mean, if you call back, I honestly don't know if it'll even let you because, I mean, it changes the code every single time. So, wow. Yeah, but uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, the I the one person I still have on here that I haven't called yet is a uh, e friend, and yeah, how awkward would that be? Uh, uh, that'd be pretty awkward. Yeah, especially since uh, I was also one of the ones that <laughs> out uh, when the whole scandal happened. So, <laughs> but yeah, just you'll see this on because uh, I'm doing this also every Thursdays. I'm calling them telephone Thursdays. What was that? Today's fucking Saturday. I know. That's why yeah, I can have these pre-scheduled. Pre-record them and have them pre-scheduled. Oh, you release it Thursday. Yeah. I was wanting uh, to do it kind of live. I told my girlfriend, I'm like, uh-huh. I kind of want to do them like, live so it seems like engaging. So like, we'd we'll be doing it in the middle of an episode. Uh, but she said no. And because <laughs> um, what I wanted to do, do it with, um, on the ones that I do get guests, I wanted to, you know, if the guest is here, you know, we can just do the call segment and then, you know, call and they can also be there too. But my girlfriend's like, nah, with the people that you have guests, don't have one, like, don't have a call segment, uh, and only do it Thursdays. So I was like, okay. I'll do them only Thursdays. Well, we're if, down, you, so nice. if you uh, at all uh, listen to uh, okay, the episode ahead. Thursday, <laughs> you'll be on there. Nice. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll let you go. Uh, you have a safe one. Thank you. Have a good one. All right. Thank you. You too. Bye bye. Hey, yo, Jordan, this is you? Yes. Uh, you remember me? Oh, I guess, do you know who I'm talking no. about? You no. Know, Marco? You remember me? Mark, Wal- Marco, Walmart? Oh, Marco. Yes, me. What's going on? Oh, nothing much, not too much. Uh, it's just because um, right now I'm doing a segment for the podcast that I want to add, which is you know, like a calling segment, I guess you can call it. Okay. And it's just so, I mean, you know, at the end of every, not every episode, but at the end of uh, specified episodes, I'll just you know add you know, just like the phone calls and shit at the end, just quick ones. Yeah and whatnot and so obviously right now people haven't like called in so i'm just trying to reach out to people and then if they want they can get the word and other shit like that 
But yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I mean, how you been? I've been good, man. How about you? Yeah, oh, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, Trinity right now is uh, doing homework at the couch. I'm at the kitchen table with the MacBook. Nice. Yeah, other than that, we're yeah, good. Yeah, I'm, I'm just at work. Oh shit! Sorry for bothering you, but you, you want to shout out anyone? No, you do you want to like say anything or? Um, <laughs> I mean, I don't really have much nothing else to say. I mean, just hope you guys are doing good. You know, and miss you know talking to you guys, seeing you guys every day. We were a brute workforce at Walmart. <laughs> yes, we would. Even when you and Donnie would uh stack sixty on that mule and somehow yep. <laughs> yep. Get me and cut. Donnie would just actually go to town. But you know. But hey, those were the days. That, uh, yeah, those definitely were the days, man. But yeah, I'm just just been doing my, you know, army stuff actually. We uh we're supposed to deploy to Kuwait in June twenty twenty three. Uh, it's not happening anymore. Now they want us to go to Syria of 2024. Oh, shit. Yeah. So, kind of ex- really excited for that, but, I mean, are, you know. Are you excited or are you, like, pretty terrified? I, I'm actually very excited to go, you know. I mean, it's it's something I've been wanting to do since I was a kid. I've always wanted to have my own uniform. I've always wanted to, you know, be out there and, like, serving my country. And you know now I get to say I, I can do that. There you go. Are but you gonna um, go, like, are you gonna go full Call of Duty? Is there gonna be a kill cam I can watch? <laughs> You're so dumb. You're probably on me. <laughs> nah. So then, so then you can look back and be like, damn, he was right there. Fucking shit, on. Damn, bro. Just really, come on. Bro. He's he's one shot. Exactly. You just he's not even above. good. <laughs> one shot. One shot. Yeah. But, hey, but yeah, I mean, glad you're doing it's, good. Uh, it's you know, yeah, I'm glad you're doing good too, man. I appreciate the call. Uh, of course. Well, you have a good one. You too, brother. All right. See ya. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Oh, he's actually excited. I'd be. What? Yeah, let me in. I let you in automatically. No, I just put the pin in. Oh, well, I know sometimes it'll say, um, "Do you want to uh, let the user in?" Like, it's like someone's trying to come in. Do you want to like let them in or not or some shit? But no, I just put the pin in. So, what is this all about? What's the what? What's all this about? Well, what it is is just a call segment to where um, it's something new that I want to do. I want to add it at the end of uh, certain episodes and really mm-hmm. just it's that call segment. I mean, just, I mean, people call, but I haven't had people call me yet. So I'm just trying to reach out to people just so you know, I see. get to them. And you know, if the word spreads, the word spreads. And Really, yeah. I mean, and I mean, if you want, you can be shouting out someone. I mean, say what you want to say or some shit. I mean, uh, what I, I can say anything. If you want, I don't care if you want to say a booty tickle penis. You can go ahead and say that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Um. Let's see. Um. Uh, um, okay, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, did you know that Dan Aykroyd, the actor, you know? Dan Aykroyd, he said? Yeah, he was from, he was in Ghostbusters and Blues Brothers, but he killed a, a small child and a woman in 2002, and nobody mentions it. He killed a woman? Thought, Fuck it. He did some Hitman yeah. style type of shit. Nah, it was, it was. It was not, it was on accident. He didn't get in trouble for any of it, but uh, that's all I have to say. I have to get back to class. All right. You have a good one. Yeah, you too.
All right, thank you. <laughs> All this guy said was something about Dan Aykroyd, um, the guy who I guess has played characters in like Ghostbusters and shit. Um, killed a woman and a child by mistake in like 2002, I think is what he said. That's all he said. And he's like, okay, well, I gotta go to class. I, gotta, I have to go back to class. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> really all the point. <laughs> Mobile phone companies say they offer home internet. But if their internet comes from a cell phone network, you should know. It's just phone internet, not home internet. Keep your home up to speed with Cox. Cox Internet is faster and has more reliable download speeds than 5G home internet. Cox is the real home internet you're looking for. Based on Cox analysis of UCLA speed test intelligence data, Q3 2022 and Cox serviceable areas, visit cox.com internet for details.